So about a month ago, Microsoft announced that they will no longer be supporting Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 on the newest generation Intel KB Lake processors, as well as the brand new AMD Ryzen series of processors. And this was a decision that left a lot of people outraged and a lot of people just generally confused as to why Microsoft would make a decision like this. And many people, myself included, believe that Microsoft is just doing this to increase Windows 10's market share. As if you're not aware, Windows 7, even though that it was released back in 2009, is still currently the most popular operating system out there. It is more popular, certainly, than Windows 8.1. It is more popular than Windows 10. And Microsoft has tried and tried again through force update installs, through the you know free upgrade program, to get these people that are on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 to upgrade to Windows 10. And there are still people who will stick by Windows 7 or stick by Windows 8.1 because they don't like what Windows 10 has to offer. Well, now Microsoft is basically giving those people who use Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 on these new Intel and new AMD processors no choice because they're basically forcing you to upgrade to Windows 10 or you know use a totally different operating system entirely because you are now basically barred from getting updates from Windows Update. And this does not just mean uh, chipset updates. This means every update that is pushed out for the Windows operating system, which includes critical uh, OS updates, critical security updates that your system needs to function and work properly. And a lot of people believe that this is very unfair. I, you know, do believe that this is very unfair for these people. This doesn't even, you know, really affect me at all as I run Windows 10 on my KB Lake build. So if you are still using Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 on one of these affected processors and when you try to go into Windows Update, you get a screen that looks like this right here. Um, I'm here to, uh, to tell you in this video that there is a little bit of a workaround. Um, which will basically allow you to still get the same updates that are still being pushed out by Microsoft for all of the older uh, processors that still obviously can run Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. As a very nice user over on GitHub by the name of Zephy has released this patch script for uh, a couple of these uh, April 2017 uh, security updates for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 that obviously you know you would want to get if you are, are using one of these operating systems that you wouldn't be able to get because of this block is currently in effect. Now I'm honestly hoping that Microsoft uh, kind of uh, realizes that this decision is going to upset a lot of their customers and it currently has upset a lot of their customers um, even people like me that this situation doesn't even uh, really affect me at all, but it still kind of upsets me that Microsoft is trying to use this method to get people to basically force people to give them no choice into upgrading to Windows 10 if they don't want to. So uh, hopefully Microsoft will kind of uh, reverse this decision in the future, but for the meantime, I would highly recommend uh, downloading Zephy's patch right here, and I assume for the next couple of updates that are pushed out by Microsoft, he's going to do something like this, or I don't know, somebody else will. Um, I have installed these updates on this Windows 7 VM right now, and it works perfectly fine. And obviously, this is or the Windows 7 VM is seeing my Intel Core i7 7700K KB Lake processor. So I was getting this same screen right here where it said unsupported hardware, and with this patch, I was able to get it to work perfectly fine. All you have to do is uh, when you actually download the patch, you have to run uh, this little batch file right here as an administrator and it you know goes through the whole thing automatically and it will then allow you to download the updates. So I do want to give a huge thank you to this guy Zephy uh, for basically releasing this patch and making it available to everybody to use and I, I again really hope Microsoft will uh, at least you know, consider uh, reversing this decision in the near future. But that's going to basically wrap it up for this short little video here. I hope that this guy's, um, I hope that it helped you uh, if you were in this, you know, pretty bad situation trying to get Windows updates and you weren't able to because you are running one of these uh, newer processors. So I hope that this helped you guys. If it did, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below uh, to be notified whenever I upload a new video on this channel. And as always, guys, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.